Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne. Today I'll be going over some really cool tips and tricks on the new Google Pixel 6a. If you are new to this phone, you're gonna find this video super helpful. I'm gonna show you some tweaks you'll wanna make in the settings to just improve your experience using the phone and some important tricks you'll need to know to just speed up your comfort in using the phone. So definitely watch the video all the way to the end. And if you find it helpful, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite tip was. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Starting with how to turn your phone off. Now on most phones, to turn the phone off, you simply hold down the power button. Well, guess what? On this phone, holding the power button is actually going to launch your Google Assistant. It's not going to give you an option to turn the phone off. So if you'd like to turn the phone off, you'll need to swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down a second time, and you'll find your power button in the bottom right corner. And right next to it, you'll have the settings um, shortcut right here. Now, just to show you, if I tap on the power button here, it'll give me the pop-up that will allow me to either restart my phone, power my phone off, or take my phone into the emergency mode. Now, tapping on the emergency button is something that you'll want to use in the event of an emergency. It could be you're being attacked, you need to call the police, or it could be that you are having some type of medical condition that's happening to you and you need to alert uh, someone to come and help, you can basically drag this over to the right and that will automatically call the police, ambulance, or fire department. You can also program information in case of an emergency right here. Now, right now there's nothing programmed into the phone, but if I tap on open personal safety, this will actually allow me to program uh, an emergency contact, someone that I can have alerted when I go to that emergency section. And it can also allow me to program some of my medical information into the phone so that if something is, again, happening to me medically, someone can pick up the phone and see that, oh, this person has low blood sugar or has an allergy or some other condition, and this is uh, the um, medical personnel would know how to treat that person. So this is a section where you would want to go ahead and, and plug in all this information so that the authorities would know how to assist you best. So obviously I went over multiple things there. I went over how to get to the power button, which is right here, and also the emergency option, which I would encourage you to go in and just program an emergency contact along with any medical information that would be pertinent in the event that you had something happen to you and an and ambulance or fire department person would need to know how to help you. Okay, moving on to our next tip. This is gonna be how to keep your screen on longer. Now, by swiping down from the top of the screen, swiping down again, and going to the settings, if you go up to the display option, and you go to screen timeout, your phone out of the box is going to be set to either 15 seconds or 30 seconds. Now obviously mine is turned up because I've already adjusted the setting, but for you, you'll want to change this, I always say either two minutes or five minutes. The way this works is if you're not touching the screen, you have a full two minutes or whatever time you set before the screen goes dim. If you don't wanna to keep touching your phone every 15 or 30 seconds to keep it on, I encourage you to increase your screen timeout to at least two minutes. Okay, our next tip is gonna be how to turn on your battery uh, percentage indicator so that on the home screen, you'll be able to see not just your battery icon, but the actual percentage that you have left in terms of battery. This is always great so you know if it's time for you to get to a charger or if you have more time. Now to change this, you're going to swipe down from the top of the screen, swipe down again, tap on the settings wheel. We're gonna tap on battery, and then we're gonna tap on battery percentage. And by enabling this, we'll always be able to see exactly how much battery we have left. And to me, that is just super helpful. I always wanna know exactly how much battery I have left. Now, our next tip, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, you'll see these three different buttons here, our home button, recent apps, and our back button. Well, some of you don't have these buttons at the bottom, you have just one dash. And that means your phone is in the gesture mode option. Now, guess what? Gesture mode is new to Android and not everyone is used to it. 
If you are more used to having the buttons at the bottom and you'd like to switch your phone to have these buttons, let me show you how to change that in the settings. So once again, swipe down from the top, swipe down again and tap on the settings wheel. Now we wanna go up all the way until we get to system. And then we're gonna go up again and go to gestures. And then from here, we're gonna go to system navigation and we're gonna switch. So you wanna be on three button navigation. You don't wanna be on the gesture mode. Gesture mode is what gets rid of the buttons and gives you the dash. So switch to three button. And now you'll have those traditional buttons like you're used to that are normally on a lot of the older Android phones. The next tip is gonna be how do you customize your home screen? So for example, changing the wallpaper picture or changing your icons. Well, to do this, you'll just take your finger and hold down on the home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. From here, you can change a few different things. You can tap on change wallpaper first. You can either go to my photos and select a picture that you've taken and make that your background picture, or you can go through the um, uh, catalogs of pictures that are already loaded onto the phone. The cool thing about Pixel is they're always updating the pictures that are in their uh, gallery, so you always have a lot of fun and new pictures to choose from. Let's just say I were to go to Cityscapes. I could go in, select a fun wallpaper. I actually really like this one here. And I can choose to have it on my home screen, on my lock screen, or both. If I hit the check, it's gonna ask me home screen, lock screen, or both. I'm gonna hit both. So that's one change. And if I hold down again, go back to wallpaper, now I can change the color scheme to have it match the wallpaper. So by swiping through, it'll give me some suggestions of color schemes that I can pick from, that I can realign my app colors to match the wallpaper. And I think this one here matches it the best. So I'm gonna select this one. And you'll notice how all the colors were now in alignment with that theme. You can also switch to the dark theme and have all the menus go dark versus light. And you have what is called themed icons. And with themed icons, you can have the icons also uh, mirror the colors that you've selected um, for your scheme. And finally, you can change your app grid. So you can have either more apps on the screen like this, or you can have less apps on the screen and have the icons be larger. I tend to like a four by four ratio. It's the most balanced in my opinion. Let's hit apply. And now when we go to the home screen, you'll notice the color of all my stock uh, icons are now in alignment with that theme. And they also match with the wallpaper better. So that's one way to just customize the screen and the colors. And as you swipe down from the top, you'll notice all of these menus will now be in alignment with those same colors. The next tip, and this will be our final tip for the video, is going to be how to close all of your running apps. Now, most of you know hitting the recent apps button at the bottom here will take you to the apps that are running and you can simply swipe through and just swipe up to close each app one by one. But you can also swipe all the way to the right, just a, a, a quick swipe, and then you can tap this button, the clear all, and that will close all the apps in one shot. Now, sometimes I have like 30 different apps running and so it's a lot of work to just swipe up on each one. So that's why I love this option better where I can simply swipe all, all the way to the right and close all the apps in one shot. These were my just few tips for you folks that are new to the Google Pixel 6a. I wanna hear from you in the comment section down below. First of all, let me know if this video was helpful and let me know what your favorite tip was that I shared. And second, if you know a cool tip that I didn't cover in the video, leave it in the comment section down below. I would love to hear it and I know the other people that are new to this phone that are still trying to learn it would love to learn those other tips. Let's build community within these videos and you guys can learn from me, I can learn from you and we can all learn from each other. Thanks again for watching guys. And again, if the video was helpful, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. 
Take care, and as always, have a good one.